In his abridgment about a time of peace and prosperity in 3 Nephi chapter 6, Mormon included the point that there were many highways cast up and many roads made which led from city to city and from land to land and from place to place. This report has led readers to wonder if the ruins of any such ancient highways have been found in the Americas. As a matter of fact, ancient Americans did build highways. The Maya, in particular, constructed and used highways in a way that fits several details in the Book of Mormon. Maya highways were often used to connect major districts or building complexes within their sprawling cities. It's possible that the highway which led to the chief market near Nephi's Garden Tower was one such road. In addition, longer highways, which sometimes spanned dozens of miles, connected main city centers with outlying communities. Although hundreds of miles of these roads have been known and studied throughout Mesoamerica, a laser technology known as LIDAR has recently detected even more of them hidden beneath the jungle canopy. Most societies today see highways simply as a means to transport people and goods. The ancient Maya, however, primarily built highways for religious and political purposes. They were seen as symbolic conduits of power, and rulers would often use them for ceremonial journeys. In fact, it may be that Mormon mentioned highways in the first place because of their symbolic significance. Only two chapters after noting the building of highways, he reported on their being destroyed as part of the sign of Christ's death. If the Nephites viewed highways anything like the ancient Maya did, then this destruction may have been seen as a symbolic severing of religious or political power. Without knowing for sure whether or not the Nephites or Lamanites built or used any of the known ancient highways in Mesoamerica, we can know that both the physical form and symbolic function of Mayan thoroughfares are remarkably consistent with what is described in the Book of Mormon. In addition, we also know that at the time the Book of Mormon was translated in 1829, these extensive networks of ancient highways were almost totally unknown to the American public. For this reason, they offer another intriguing evidence for the authenticity of the Book of Mormon and call for even further investigation. And now you know why.